Hello and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to have a look at uh, some mods I've been doing to the Mayu uh, custom firmware for the PowerKey V90. So we have what I have done is I've uh, I've I've added RetroArch, which is available on the main RetroArch site, which I'll put a link below. So it's on the latest RetroArch, and I've also done the scripts to add the um, the various cores to the main to the main um, menu. So we have uh, Magnavox Odyssey two. This one you will have to add the um, BIOSes two. To the and it goes into the retro dot retroarch system folder. So you drop your BIOSes into there. We have a Fairchild channel F, and I think you need BIOSes for that one as well. I'm not sure. It's a Teleview. Uh, that don't run great, but it still runs. You know, what I mean, some games run great. Others are a bit slow. Same as the SNES on this machine, really. Amstrad GX four thousand. That runs terrible, really. But I added it so. You know, it might improve over time with some new updates and things. Now, Watara Supervision, this is the main reason I did this. This runs great. So if you have a look, you can play. Uh, so if we go into the menu, select a game. Let's play one of the better ones. So let's go down to uh, the wrong way. Galaxy Fighter, one of the one of the good ones on there. So you just launch it up. See so straight into the game. This was a like a was going to be a competitor to the Game Boy, but it never really took off. But it has some interesting games. But yeah, as you can see, it runs great. And when you've done press that menu button there that'll take you back to your retro art menu you which you can go in and edit your settings if you want to or you just press uh, the b button to go back to the menu then quit and you're back to your back to your main menu so you've got watara supervision i have also uh, added the the graphics for retro arc the retro art you download off the website would put the put all the entries in and give you the uh, give you the ability to select it from the menu, but you don't get no graphics. You just don't be a blank screen. So I've drawn, done the graphics. They're not the best in the world, and I'm sure other people can do a much better job. But they're good as placeholders for now. And the other thing I've done, I've, I've added the uh, Game Boy uh, GBSP core, just in case it improves compatibility, because I do really like. Um, the Game Boy stuff, you know what I mean? So if you just launch that one, so that's running with the core. Yep, there you go. And back to there, back to there, and quit. So yeah, so I will be... Uh, these have all been... Uh, the fi all the files have been released onto my GitHub, which I will also put a link below. And it's just a case of unzipping these and putting them into the uh, core, into the root of your uh, Mayo main firmware, main partition, sorry, not firmware, the partition on your SD card. So I will do a short tutorial of that in a moment. So back in a moment, back uh, when I go to my uh, capture card. Right, uh, welcome back. So first of all, you will have need to have got uh, uh, the Mayu um, 1.3.3 I think it is, uh, custom firmware installed on the card and working. And then you will need to go to this page, which I'll put a link in the description, and uh, click uh, this link to uh, download the, um, the mods, which aren't very big, that's that. And then you will need to um, find your mods, open up uh, Explorer. So let's find the right uh, thing. There we are. There's my Explorer window. 
just shrink it a little bit so we can see that. And then uh, double click the zip file and you should find uh, these, fo these folders here, which is the RetroArch, the, uh, the emulation stuff, which is, which is where the main executable for RetroArch is, the menu scripts, and then just the empty, new empty folders. So you just select all those, drag and drop onto there. Then obviously the main partition is the, the drive letter might be different, but that's the drive letter for your um, ROMs, the area where you put your ROMs and stuff, the same partition. Right, once that's done, then you should find you've got a few new folders and dot retroarch you go into there and system this is where you want to put all your um, bios files so there's my bios files there so then just do i just do a control a to select them all drag and drop and then they'll copy it that'll pop up at the end i just skip that that's the only file that was already in there. And then hopefully um, it'll have a lot of uh, BIOS files. I've probably got more there than I need. And then you want to go into uh, close that and then just add go back to the main uh, folder and go into ROMs and you should see some new folders. So channel F's a new one, so add the ch any channel F ROMs you've got in there. GX4000, Odyssey 2, Satellaview, and Supervision. Now, if, you've, if you don't want some of these systems in, in your, uh, on your card, because you're not interested in them for any reason, you just want one or two, if you go into this game menu, and then go into Sections, Emulators, now these are the uh, the files that uh, make it so they appear on the menu. So you can uh, remove or move them into a separate folder somewhere or whatever. And uh, say if you didn't want GX4000, you could just delete that. And then it would, uh, would not appear on your menu anymore. So this is a way of uh, tidying up what systems are available. And then once you've done all this and copied all your ROMs in and all your games in, then just eject the card and put it in your V90 and away you go. So if you want to uh, update your RetroArch outside of uh, my releases, then if you go to the main uh, RetroArch page and go to the download section, you will find that there's a list of systems and you will find right at the bottom, there's the uh, PowKid V90, Q90 stuff uh, firmware. So you just click that to download. And then if you open that up, you'll just find the folders like before, and you can just copy them in and overwrite, and you'll get whatever the latest cores and the latest, latest version of RetroArch is. Well, I hope that was uh, clear enough. If you have any questions or any problems, please let, let me know in the comments. And I hope you enjoy playing these new systems. Well, thank you for watching this video, and I shall see you in the next one.